your change my mind segment to me was an example of setting up like this typical um, privileged patriarchal system that we have where a man is in power and it's up to me as a constituent to change your mind because you already have an opinion on it. Right. So you were kind of um, putting together like a mini version of what women feel like we have to do since women and people of color, anyone who is a, an, um, a minority in this in this country mm-hmm. is not and who is not represented has to change the mind or you know advocate for themselves because they are not represented themselves so you know and you would, you you would now yourself- acknowledge that your uh, premise was incorrect yes well i mean i still think that we that setup is an imperfect setup if you will take a little constructive criticism i oh, would go ahead how should how should it be set up, up? and I also a big reason by the way that it was set up that way is because of females repeatedly violently assaulting me i'm sure if you've seen previous videos so yeah. um but how do you think it should be set up so that it would not mirror uh quote unquote sort of microcosm of a patriarchal system the change my mind positioning is what really it, it's it's more of like i have this opinion and it is your responsibility to change my mind instead of being like hey let's de- let's enter into a discussion like this. You almost like, said the word the- debate. Admit it, and then you had to catch yourself. You said, "Let's." De- so let me explain to you why, and and maybe you'll maybe this will be illuminating. Um, the change my mind segments, by the way, are are pretty popular. It's the complete opposite of cable news. That's the design behind this. So we just recently had one. I'm pro gun. Change my mind. And yeah, the reason for this one. is, uh, and most of the time they're incredibly civil. Uh, civil. I, ironically enough, the only time we've ever had people violently assault or scream or have have been uh, feminists on campus. They haven't been the best ambassadors. So the purpose for this, and by the way, understand that my view is the unpopular view. Uh, to hold on campus. I am going into a campus where the vast majority of people would agree with your presuppositions and not mine. And so I'm going into actually not only neutral territory, but adversarial territory, presenting a differing point of view and allowing anyone, male, female, black, white, take your pick. Mm -hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. Whatever gender walks along down the trail, anyone to have a conversation. The onus is on them to present to me why I'm wrong because I am taking a more contrarian view than what's taught in schools because everything you've just said I learned in women's studies in college. So the reason why I took issue with it because it was a male privilege thing is because as a male, you were saying, I am male and I think that male privilege is a myth. Change my mind. So you're asking Absolutely. me as a female to validate my experience. No, I'm asking you as a critical thinker. Okay, well... The way it came across to me, and I know a lot of the people that I follow on Twitter, is that you were asking me to validate my experiences within male privilege, which is why I think that you got such a harsh reaction. Well, here's to the thing: I, I didn't from though. From Twitter feminists, that's that's yeah, from Twitter feminists, and there's the microcosm. You are really in an echo chamber, a bubble, because you can look at the like to dislike ratio. You have people coming in going, "Listen." I voted for Bernie Sanders, and this is what we need more of, is this kind of a discussion. The only person seeing it through the prism of gender or seeing it as an example of patriarchy, which, by the way, is false. It is completely, I, 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 I always try to be as civil as possible. The premise is factually incorrect, are the feminists on Twitter. And I think the reason you're seeing more and more young women not identify as feminists uh, is because they feel increasingly disconnected. Someone looks at a table where they see someone sit down for hours and they're willing to have a cup of coffee and a conversation with anyone and they see only the feminists saying that's offensive for one, two, three reasons or that's an example of patriarchy for X, Y, Z. Nobody outside of Twitter feminists, no one in real life agrees with that. Campus and feminists. And so I, hopefully maybe you can understand if you look at it why the overwhelming reaction was positive from both men and women alike. 